All right, it's Glenn from Happy Cow, and I'm just aware that it's been a year since we last did a really proper video, and uh, we haven't been keeping everyone up to speed with what's going on, and uh, we're doing a lot of work, and so what I thought I'd do is I'll get Corbin, who did our video, what, 12 months ago. He's gonna come in every week or so, and just film us here at Happy Cow HQ, and we'll just keep everyone up to date with, well, really what we've been doing. So we're based here at Saltworks, this is um, a co-working space, and we've been here since oh, 2018. So we spent the last year uh, building everything that we said we'd build, uh, getting through COVID. Uh, we've dealt with a lot of, I suppose, delays with manufacturers and trying to get stuff built, and a lot of stuff still gets done in China, and the borders have been shut, and um, deliveries have been slow and things like that. But I'll show you what we've built today and we'll run through our dispenser and stuff. And then every week we'll show you really how we're progressing and basically going to launch uh, in the new year. Right, my coffee is done. So the Happy Cow area is just over here. This is our little space. Although this is a, a I suppose an office co-working space, we're sort of pushing the boundaries of what's acceptable. Um, just our little workshop here. So this is, um, See our basically our dispenser, and oh Mordecai, meet Mordecai. He's well, you're an accountant, aren't you? He's part of our accounting team. Comes in every every little while. Part of the extended happy cow team. Like to think of myself. <laughs> <laughs> I'll introduce you to Regina. So Regina is the longest serving happy cow uh, contributor. Am She's I? been yeah, yeah been here the longest, right from the very very start, and Regina's. Well, she's a gentle soul. We're lucky to have her. Oh, gosh. <laughs> and I do um, all graphic design and um, help out with comms and marketing things. And um, yeah. And design the app? Yeah, I did design, design the, the app. Design the app? Like, yeah, user experience design. And Regina's basically our core cool customer. She's like, she was buying our milk before. So she keeps us, keeps us on the, the straight and narrow with the, you know, with what our customers want and who they are. So. We're very lucky to have Regina. Our latest addition to the team is Barnaby. He's an intern from Canterbury University and we, and we actually pay him. <laughs> Barnaby's taken our dispenser and he's basically testing accuracy. So he's pretty much spent five or well, three or four days just sitting there pushing the dispenser and dispensing and recording how much it dispensed. And he's basically worked out um, how to get our dispenser to be accurate, which is kind of important when you're selling milk. So David's just walked in, and David, how long have you been with us? Since July. For, yeah. Yeah. Nearly David six months. turned up just at the right time. Um, David's a product designer. Started working at Saltworks here, and we would literally be lost without him. So, Dave, well, what do you do? So yeah, product designer, engineer. Um, I came in and Glenn had a bunch of stuff that was all uh, in the right spots but not quite connecting with things so I've just picked things up and tried to put things in the right places and now we've got something that dispenses milk. Are we doing that yet? Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Or dispenses water. Dispenses water. Alright, so this is our prototype tank. So these are what our um, farmers are going to have on their farm and these are little mini pasteurizers so they will pasteurize milk the farmer brings these tanks in and they'll go to cafes or resellers or wherever. Obviously they won't just be on the, the floor like this, they'll be underneath a bench or something like that. On top here is the control panel and this sits with the tank and it will be obviously much smaller and everything and it connects to the internet. So it'll have wireless internet but at the moment we're um, just using the ethernet cable because we're in, our, uh, in the lab. And when the tank goes to a uh, reseller or any dispenser, you basically just plug it in to uh, the dispenser. So what happens with the dispenser is um, anyone who has the, the Happy Cow app will come up to a dispenser and they'll scan the code on the dispenser and the dispenser then knows who you are and is it working? Working? And you just push the button and it will dispense whatever milk and the dispenser measures 
what milk is dispensed and you can push your, take your finger off. And then when you're finished, you put on your app, you say finished and your account will be debited. And, you, um, and at the back end, the farmer gets the money immediately. The, um, the reseller will get their margin from the milk and uh, of course we get our margin as well. It all happens in real time in the back end because each dispenser is connected to the internet as, a, as well as every tank. All right, so we're here at the top secret Happy Cow uh, facility. Um, what goes on in here stays inside here. <laughs> So this is where David and I basically test things. So this is our prototype hub. This is this, the unit that sits at the farm. The tanks go in here and um, this controls all the, uh, the cleaning. And this is your one-stop milk processing box. So this is where we have all our uh, prototypes, I suppose. This is our first tank we got like a year and a half ago. Uh, we've played with different sorts of uh, designs uh, using plastic tanks. That's our rectangle tank and we're actually going to carry on playing with that over Christmas. And you know we have our little welder here, we've got a little bench and this enables us to just experiment with stuff and, and figure out how we're going to manufacture everything at scale. All right, so that's a quick overview. We've shown you where we work. We've shown you, basically, we've got our prototype working, we've got our dispenser working, you've seen our workshop. And just over the next couple of weeks, we'll, as we go on, we'll show you, you know, as we progress to actually selling milk, which will happen in the new year.